Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are all the way in South Africa today. And we are here with Sinead O'Brien. How are you, Sinead? I'm well in you, Matt. I'm doing great. It's fun. I, I, uh, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this experience. I feel like I've come to know you over the years. And because uh, you're very good at being able to, to take the work that you do and really just let the world know about it. Yeah, like, I mean, I've been doing drag for 13 years now, going on 14 years, and I always just saw myself as as a performer, and then somehow I got into LGBTIQA plus activism, and it's just been a roller coaster ride ever since then, but I, I thoroughly enjoy what I do, and I really hope that one day I can leave the world a better place than I found it. Well, that comes through. That really shines through with the with the work you do and the and the, and the posts you make. Yay, but I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's interesting because you describe yourself and uh, it's an interesting position in the world. Uh, you're a drag artist um, as well as kind of one of South Africa's premier entertainers. Uh, but, you know, how did you get started in all that? So I started drag way, way, way back in 2009 when I went to university and it was this whole newfound freedom and new world. And I've always had a fascination with female clothing and I thought, well, let me, you know, just dabble a little bit and see what happens. And way back then, it was just a way of, you know, coming to terms with my own sexuality and seeing where I would fit in the spectrum of the LGBTIQ plus uh, community. And then it just took on a life of its own. Like I started doing shows and I started performing and yeah, then I entered a very big popular <laughs> yes. singing competition. And then it just, it from there on out, it just took a, a, on a life of its own. And it's yeah. just gone from one thing to the next and i'm very 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 grateful well that that uh that audition was on idols in south africa and you did it in drag i did so i had auditioned for idols previously before but like as myself out of drag and literally on the day of the auditions i one of my friends was going and he said he didn't just want to stand in the queue by himself would i just accompany him and i was like cool and then literally 20 minutes before we left i was like but what if I go in drag and see what happens? You know, because coming from coming from the entertainment industry, I've been in the entertainment industry and the performing arts um, since 2009 when I studied drama. And knowing coming from that industry and reality TV, they're always looking for something that's a little bit unique or a little bit, you know, quirky. So I went and I I honestly didn't think, you know, it would it would go all the way that it did, but. I thought, you know, maybe they would just take me on for production value, you know, get some viewers because it is something new. There was never a drag artist that has auditioned for South African idols before. Okay. And then, yeah, it just blew up in my face in a good way. Um, <laughs> and I made it all the way to the top 16. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. But uh, yeah. from there and some of the other work you've done, I mean, you have uh, you have really been kind of what I would say in the forefront as far as uh, kind of representing South Africa out there to the world. And in fact, you even won uh, South African Feather Feather Awards too, yeah? Yeah, so the Feather Awards is like basically the gay uh, Oscars of South Africa, if I can put it that way. And the reason why we won that award was for a show that I created way back in 2019 called We're Queer, My Dear. Okay. And yeah, we, we won the award for Media of the Year after only being on air for about six months. Okay. So the work, we realized that the work that we were doing was impactful and people were receiving it in a, in a good light and was really helping people. And I'm proud to say that we are currently in season three, yeah. which is currently running at the moment. So yeah, something that I had a little dream about, you know, of just creating a platform where information in South Africa for other queer individuals and hetero society where they can see what we go through on a daily basis can become very and much more um, accessible yeah. has just turned into this this show where people are just like really receiving it with such positive energy and really just uplifting us and and supporting us and I'm so 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 grateful for that. Yeah, no, I, I love that. Um, it's called We're Queer, My Dear, and I know I, I it's easy to find on YouTube, but um, you also have kind of a media partnership with Mamba Online, one of the largest uh, LGBT media there in South Africa. Yeah, so so I've known Louis, who runs Mamba, for quite a few years. And when yeah. we had this idea, or when I had this idea of creating this online show, obviously we wanted to partner with someone that is as passionate about the LGBT, uh, LGBTIQA plus community as we are. And I approached Louis and I said to him, listen, 
obviously there's not a lot of funding or let me be honest there's no funding um <laughs> for this little project that i'm doing would but would mamba be be keen on coming online um, on board as our exclusive media partner and he just jumped at it and he has been so supportive and mamba has just been really incredible um with regards to helping us getting the word out there and distributing our episodes yeah yeah, I think that's amazing, and uh, I really look forward to on my one of my next trips out to South Africa uh, to to be able to uh, uh, make a stop in Johannesburg and be able to spend some time and uh, come to come to see one of your shows. No, please do. Yeah, we do. I have quite a few shows lined up for the rest of the year. There's some exciting stuff happening. Um, hopefully, with the Market Theatre, which is one of our local theatres here in Johannesburg, and um, we did a production with them called House of Pink last year, Volume One. Yeah. Um, and and it sounds like they they're going to be doing volume two this year. So I'm holding and crossing fingers that I get to be part of that again. But also um, my show with Betty Bangles called Tucked and Loaded, uh, which we're literally touring uh, throughout South Africa and mostly taking it to not rural towns, but yeah. smaller, more conservative communities to give them exposure to what it is you know, to be a drag queen and telling them what we go through and just giving them a show with glitter and sequins and feathers. And and it's so exciting and, and amazing to see how these people who are surrounded or that, that is encapsulated in these conservative areas where they just, they're so skittish or a little bit afraid in the beginning of the show. And then at the end of the show, they just want, they just want to touch you and they just want to ask you questions and they just want to know everything about you. And uh, it is just, it's absolutely incredible. Wow. It sounds like a South African modern day version of Priscilla, queen of the desert. I mean, if the shoe fits. <laughs> <laughs> Shanae, you're amazing. So thank you so much oh, for being you. here. Just taking a few moments of your time to share some of your story with our audience here. Thank you for having me. And I'm sending so much love to everybody there in America and wherever you are in the world. Remember, you're beautiful and just love yourself. Love yourself. Oh, thank you so much. Great seeing you here. Bye. Bye.